Hello everyone, I'm Donald from Peters. Today, I'm glad to share technology together. The new technology focuses on the wear resistant solution of the 3D printing. Recently, the composite market is developing rapidly, and the market demands for high performance wear resistant filaments are increasing. So, more and more users have the requirements of the functional application, like the manufacturing tools and engineering parts. So, this takes strict requirements to our 3D printing components and the units. We have made the test to the ordinary hardened steel nozzles, printing with the composite fiber filaments. And the orifice won from 0.4 to 0.44 after only 10 kilograms filaments printing and finally failed. So how to increase the abrasive of the parts? Today, we have new technology to the solutions of the lifetime increasing of the extrusion gears, the heat brakes, and the nozzles. The first technology is the coating. We released two kinds of coatings. One is totally new ended coat coating, which is used for nozzles and heat brakes. And another is the upgrading RNC2 coatings, which is better for extrusion gears. Here, we listed the technical parameters of different kinds of coatings and process. From the picture we could see, the new end coat coating has all surface coverage, which means it can cover the coat inner and outer of the surface, which is better for the nozzle and heat brake tube. And the hardness of the new end coat coating is up to 3300 HB, which can achieve over 52 kilograms of composite fiber filaments printing. And the upgraded RNC2 coating also has 3300 HB hardness. And the lifetime could up to over 80 kilograms of the composite fiber filaments extrusion. So from the comparison, we could see the new end coat coating and upgraded RNC2 coating are the five stars choice for the composite fiber filaments printing applications. And the new end coat coating uses Swiss nano thermal coating technology, which could get a inner and outer surface fully covered and is suitable for small hole feature, high temperature, and the wear resistant working conditions. From the SEM pictures, we could see the new end coat coating element distribute evenly, which makes a better overall performance. This picture, we showed the section cutting of the nozzle and the heat break tube. We could see the inner hole are full covered with the new end coat coating, which will protect the filament's printing channel. And the new end coat coating hardness is up to 3300 HB. We have tested the nozzle and the heat brake tubes. 
for the nozzles, it only wear less than 5 micros after 10 kilograms of composite fiber filament printing, which is many times better than that of the hardened steel nozzle printing tests. And with the normal heat break tube, it broken after only 20 kilograms of composite fiber filaments printing. But with the end coat coating, the tube can keep up to 52 kilograms of composite fiber filaments printing and still working. And the new end coat coating can up to 1200 degrees temperature resistance, which means it can be used in the high temperature printing applications like the PEK, PEI, PEK, and such kind of fiber content filaments printing applications. And the second new technology for the wear resistant solutions is the material development of silicon carbide. It's common to find the hardened steel, the ruby, even the past carbide materials in the market. Here we listed the three kinds of materials of the nozzles and make the comparison from the wear resistance, the thermal conductivity, and the cost. From the picture, we could see that there are some shortcomings, more or less, of these three kinds of materials. So, we developed the silicon carbide materials. Here is the technical parameters of the silicon carbide. And also, we do the comparison of the silicon carbide to the hardened steel, the ruby, and the tungsten carbide. The silicon carbide has the best thermal conductivity up to 176, and the roughness is only 0.2, which is better for the non stick filaments printing. And the lifetime could up to over 70 kilograms of the composite fiber filaments printing. And later, fitters will make a high cost effective price to the market of the silicon carbide products. And we will make the silicon carbide most popular to user's choice. Our new silicon carbide has the content of the silicon carbide more than 99.6% with little fiber. And this new material has the new forming process of the solid free pressing process, which makes a high hardness, high wear resistance, and high thermal conductivity to the new silicon carbide material. From the SEM picture, we could see the silicon carbide element distribute evenly, so which provides a better overall performance of this kind of material. We do a long lifetime printing test to the silicon, silicon carbide nozzles, and the orifice won from 0.4 to 0.42 after 50 kilograms of composite fiber filaments printing. This is meaningful to 3D printing farmers because it not only saves the nozzle cost, but also it reduces the maintenance time to the nozzle changement, which means the high effect of the printing and the high profit of the manufacturing. Also, the silicon carbide has a high temperature resistance up to 2000 degrees, 
and it can, of course, used be be used in the high temperature printing applications like the PI, PEK, PEK, and such kind of fiber content filaments printing. As we know, the thermal conductivity means the heat transfer ability at the same time. So, if we use the silicon carbide to the nozzle making, we will have a high ability of the filaments melting at the nozzle, which means a high printing speed and high printing flow rate we could get. Okay, that's all for today's technology sharing. Later, fitters will apply these new technologies into the new products development, like the nozzles, the heat brakes, the hot ends, and the extruders. And we will make a big surprise to the market. So let's forward to it. And finally, thank you very much for your subscribe to Fitter's Twitter. And we are glad to communicate with you in our comment and provide service to you. Thank you.